Pop lost a portion of the Spurs fan base for it. I became more political because of it. This notion that consistently bad behavior shouldn't be explained, tolerated, or justified, much less celebrated. It's been about a week since the report surfaced that Clippers brass had become frustrated with Kawhi Leonard's anticipated unavailability for the playoffs. LA season ended that night, eliminated in a winner-take-all play-in a game Leonard didn't play. It's the latest chapter in the Kawhi drama saga. We know how the first one ended when he left his teammates and some of the NBA's most respected doctors for a second opinion, ghosting everyone along the way before ultimately clashing with the franchise over clearance by doctors and forcing the trade, naming one city as a preferred destination. His exit from Toronto was almost as spectacular as his play, letting his Raptors teammates know he was leaving moments before the news broke with a group text that said, Hey y'all, I'm going home. Woo woo. Kyle Lowry says Leonard rubbed people the wrong way while there, and a report indicated Kawhi and his uncle Dennis made out of the ordinary, ridiculous, unreasonable demands when negotiating whether to resign. He never would, but Pop could give Clippers leadership a big told you so, and no one around here would have any problem with it. Does anything I've said sound political? No. When discussing bad behavior, that only seems to happen when the letter R comes in place of IL, as in inactive list, or DNP, as in did not play.